morning, welcome to Muirfield, the honourable company of Edinburgh golfers. Uh, we're here on September the 2nd, filming what we think is the first ever golf vlog at Muirfield. So far the welcome couldn't have been nicer, the people in the pro shop and the starter, uh, fantastic. And we, we've now went down to the driving range to hit a few balls. They've got a beautiful range here, complimentary Pro V1 golf balls, all part of the visitor experience. And there doesn't seem to be anybody out on the tea sheet this morning. We're here post-COVID uh, uh, with no visitors. Normally this place would be full of Americans, but it's only me, so I'll have to show you around today and show you the golf course. What well, I said for the first time, I think. Nobody's done it before and couldn't have asked for a better morning, so time to get warmed up. First tee, Muirfield. Everything is very minimal at this point. Classy, until I hit my first tee shot. There we. The second hole here at Muirfield was one of my favourites from the day. Good strike. Maybe it's the undulations on the fairways. Definitely the, the beautiful green site with the stone wall and the bunkering. It was so much fun to play, even though I <laughs> didn't play it very well. Third also had a bunch of character in it. Playing to the screen side that was tucked behind some right. large dunes. Okay. Is it? Yeah. Last thing you want after a double bogey is to be lying two here up against the bunker face. <laughs> Muirfield's definitely difficult so far. Uh, just for context, I'm a nine handicap, so hopefully I can contextualise how hard a round of golf at Muirfield is. Oh, well out. No matter what you think about the uh, Muirfield membership, and they are trying to change, and they're having the women's open here very shortly. Their members do love their dogs. They've got a drinking bowl here next to the uh, the members' drinking tap, which is a sign of a good membership, if you ask me. What were my expectations going into Muirfield? I didn't really have any. It was. It's never really been documented. That's one of the reasons I wanted to make this video. I knew about how fair a test of golf it was, but it was only really traditional photographs of the course that gave me any sort of sense of what I was going to experience on that day. And in truth, the club and its membership it's not something that attracts people to go play the golf course. They're private and that's their choice. But as this video shows, they're also open for public play on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Apologies for watching those first seven holes, uh, first six holes, we're on the seventh here. Par three, normally 135 yards short hole. We're into an absolute gale here. It's 140 yards, I'm hitting a five iron. It's okay, I'll take that. Visually, it's a little bit underwhelming versus the other courses in the area, Muirfield, but it's just a pure golf experience. And a lot of the bunkers are hidden off the tee as well. And I would say it's pretty difficult for an average golfer.
I also wanted to go see the golf course because the region of East Lothian on Scotland's southeast coast, known as Scotland's Golf Coast, is surrounded by some of my favourite golf courses in Scotland. North Berwick, West Links, is maybe only five miles up the coast. And as we turn to the ninth, the final hole in the front nine, we play towards the clubhouse and into a horribly strong wind. This par five was brutal. Driver, three wood, chop out of the rough. Hit over the green and three putts later. It was a disappointing end to the front nine. A front nine which I enjoyed, but as I made a turn to the tenth, I was excited to what was to come. Just on the 11th hole here at Muirfield. One thing I wasn't expecting was a blind shot, which we just hit over this uh, over this June. The front nine was every hole I was told that Muirfield, there was no weak holes at Muirfield, and that was certainly the case on that front nine. Particularly enjoyed the first and the second and the third hole holes. There was a sense that was a little bit understated. Everything was very enjoyable, but I, I would certainly, being honest with you, I have said that I've enjoyed playing courses in the area more than the front nine here at Muirfield. But that's just like, golf, golf courses are subjective, so there's no right or wrong answer. Me obviously being a, a nine handicap, struggled a little bit in the, in the windy conditions. But let's just see what the last eight holes here are, are like, and hopefully they're as, as good as the, the first 11 holes. The view from the 12th tee at Muirfield is a stunning one. Perched below you is the 12th green and beyond that is the beautiful, charming town of Gullen. can't tell but it's starting to rain. Mix high winds with heavy rain and it's the worst combination. Thankfully this birdie lifted spirits just when I needed it. In case you haven't noticed it has been raining a little bit here and if uh, Muirfield wasn't already hard enough at a 30 mile an hour wind just got soaked. Uh, but that, that's Scotland in September for you. 
16th is like all the other par 3s at Muirfield. Beautiful but hard. And I found another bunker. For what you're getting for your money here, you're getting a fantastic product. Like look at the conditioning of the course. Everything, the tee boxes are very minimal in design, but look how pristine that is with the, with the cut lines and then the way the rough's um, kept and then you've got the, the manicured walkways which are quite nice. And then I think the bunkering here is probably the best bunkering you'll ever play in your life, length bunkers. And as you've watched so far, they're very, very difficult to get out of. Just finished up playing here at Muirfield, the honourable company of Edinburgh golfers uh, that play over the course at Muirfield. It's been a very difficult day, conditions wise, but I'm here to talk about the golf course. It's an open road golf course for a reason, it's very difficult. It's probably not the most enjoyable golf course you'll ever play, but if you're a purist, and I class myself as a golf purist, it's great to come play a golf course that's accessible, open to public play. We're playing on a Thursday, but they also have tee times available to the public on Tuesdays as well and that offers you a 36 hole ticket including lunch and you can play your, um, your foursomes in the afternoon. It's, uh, it's a treat to play here but it's not a place you know, I'd want to play personally myself every day um, but it's been great having the privilege to play here on Scotland's Gulf Coast, North Berwick, Kilspinney, some other great courses nearby, check them out and um, please do check out my channel, other videos there all around Scotland and the man behind the camera Ollie Allison uh, thanks for all your help his information is in the description so check him out as well until next time we'll see you on a Scottish golf course soon